This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 5-6, Prom number 27. In a chess tournament, Magnus has to play 15 games. Sometime during the tournament, he has won half of the games he has played, he has lost one-third, and two have ended in a draw. How many games does Magnus still have to play in the tournament? A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, D, 5, or E, 6. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we will be doing the solution. So to start, I've made this kind of graphic organizer in order to better understand what we're trying to find. I think it's easier to see it visually. So we know that the total number of games Magnus plays is 15. Now we can divide these games into two groups, the number of games he has played, which I have written as X, and the number of games he has yet to play. Again, these two categories must add up to 15. This is what we're trying to find. But as you can tell, if we find out X, the number of games he has played, we'll also be finding out this because they have to add up to 15. However, we only know information about the number of games he has played. So that's what we want to focus on. We know that out of the games he has played, that number x is going to be the sum of the number of wins he has, the number of losses, and the number of ties. And from the problem, we know that out of x games, he has won half of them. That means he has won one half of x, so his number of wins is one half x. We know that he has lost one third, so the number of losses is one third x, and we know that two have ended in a draw. So there's two ties. So like I said earlier, we can write X, the total number of games he has played, as being a sum of the wins plus losses plus ties, which we have just established are one half X, one third X, and two. So now we're gonna add one half X to one third X, Again, if we give them common denominators, we will get 5 sixths x plus 2. Now we're going to subtract 5 sixths x from both sides and get 1 sixth x is equal to 2. If we multiply both sides by 6, we will find that x is equal to 12. Great, we found what x is. x is 12. But keep in mind, like we said, we're looking for this number, the number of games he has yet to play. And we know 12 plus something must be 15. So in order to find out what that something is, we can do 15 minus 12, which is equal to 3. He has 3 games left to play. This is answer choice B. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.